Sky 74 uniform. Turn right and follow the coastline. Wind is uh, 2,000 right runway 25 right, full length, clear for takeoff. Hey, what's going on today, guys? It's Colin here, and uh, we are back in the Cessna 172 in Honolulu. And um, we're going to be going to Wake Island today um, as part of our circumnavigation. It's about, uh, I'd say, a good 2,000 miles away. I don't know why exactly our VFR has us turning around exactly. I think maybe it's because we're crossing. Yeah, like if we go this way. Like that's weird. Why do they want us to come that way? I, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll probably just set the direct destination once we get up in the air. Um, right now we're going to be tuning, we're going to be turning on the standby battery, and, um, we're going to be tuning to Unicom 122.0. We'll also be turning on some of this flood lighting here. Alright. Alright. Uh, 122.8. Decimal eight. Uh, Skyhawk 6774 uniform. Is there anyone else on Unicom frequency around me right now? Anybody in Honolulu? Alright, I guess not. Alright. Trying to get a rough estimate of where I am here. I'm gonna just run the battery and, um, yeah, there we go. Yeah, we could probably make a turnaround of that. And we're just gonna, I'm trying to find out where a, uh, trying to just see my options here in terms of runways if you wanted to depart this way we could probably take a uh, you could probably just take this runway here that doesn't seem too far away and we can just kind of taxi along here and then cross that runway and go from there and that's probably that's what I'm gonna be doing so I just noticed that that texture on there. There's like texture on this, like that's that shines in the. That's fucking cool. I like that. Forty seven. That's okay. Twenty percent. All right. Fuel pump is one, two, three, four, five. And we start up our engine. This game looks so much different at night, it's weird. Anyways, alright, we're good to go. Since we're uncontrolled right now, I'm just gonna kinda... I'm just gonna kinda take off here. Alright, and we'll just kind of sort of go along here and uh, take off when we, 
when, when we can and uh, depart for the depart for the west I guess you know it's weird they always call that side of the earth east but like you know, like no matter where you are, like relative to where you are, it's going to either be west or east. It doesn't, like there's, it's not like, oh yeah, these guys are over here east. Oh yeah, these guys are over here west. They're 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 not really. Doesn't really represent much of anything. So that's all I got to say about it. Hey everyone, it's uh, Post Production Colin here, so uh, I just want to give a little bit of a spicy little voiceover, you know what I'm saying? Um, this is in an effort to kind of increase my uh, my production value on these videos, because I, I, I really want to see this become a wide-scale kind of thing. And uh, in order to do that, you kind of got to up that production value a bit. So enough with that mobile editing software, we're going balls deep in it with the DaVinci Resolve, and... Uh, yeah, let's let, let's let's just let's just get into it. So, as you can see here, we're taking off. We're we're pretty good, you know. We're we're kind of heavy. And uh, what I didn't realize after this, right, was that it turns out, uh, 2020 actually adds in a co-pilot, which adds about another 170 pounds. Which, on a multi-million dollar passenger jet, not a problem. But in a Cessna 172 that's already 800 pounds over maximum takeoff weight, it's going to be a little bit of a problem. I mean, I'm just saying. So, I took the dude out, and we immediately started climbing, which figures. Just, whatever. But, you know, after, after I took him out, I set the autopilot, just to make sure we were on a stable course, whatever, and, uh, yeah, we started actually ascending, which, I mean, it's better than being 100 feet off the ground, almost eating shit. But, um, yeah, anyways, we, we started climbing up, and uh, we get up to uh, about 8,500 feet, and then we just kind of sort of cruise, you know? So, it, I find this really beautiful, alright? Like, the whole, like, this, this shot I took, um, and I sent it on my Discord server, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll show you here. Um, basically, um, it's one of the most beautiful shots I've ever taken in 2020. Um, basically just because it's, it's so naturally beautiful. Like, I think this was about three or four hours into the trip itself. And I was just kind of flying away from the sunrise. And just behind me is just this dark orange glow. It's just one of the beauties of flying, even in a simulator. It is just one of the beauties of flying is able, is being able to see the sunrise just looming up and just looking behind you and just seeing these dark orange very like ambient it just it's just beautiful and um, that was that was one of the very reasons I actually I actually started doing this in the first place the, all those years ago just because I thought flying was so beautiful and then. You know, afterwards, I, I, I really got into aviation and everything else, but this flight was beautiful, and the landing, dude, the landing, mwah, just, just high-quality landing. Um, you'll see that here in a, in a few minutes, and um, you avoid, like, the journey there, but considering a lot of this will be over sea, I, I really don't see the point in making it an hour and 30 minutes, and that was one of my things about the last episode of, of this series, where it was just an hour and 30 minutes, basically, or, like, of just sea and then darkness. So, in order to keep that viewer retention and in order to make it into a more consumable format, 
I kind of want to make a high production value kind of um, shorter length 15 around 15 minute video and um, whether or not I achieve this uh, is, is going to be up for debate but hopefully I can edit this down and trim this down into a more um, a, a more like consumable format as I said so uh, with that being said I, I hope I hope you enjoy it because this was this was 14 hours in the making and uh, I couldn't be happier with 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 the results of this and uh, yeah uh, I'll, I'll see you guys I'll, I'll see you guys in Lake Island so uh, enjoy the flight
guys, it's uh, post-production Colin here again, and um, voiceover. We're back here, we're, we're on final approach, a little misaligned with the runway, but that's nothing that a little bit of uh, aileron control and a little bit of that sort of like, action can't, can't fix. So, as you can see, um, I was coming in here at a pretty decent speed. I think I'm looking at it right now, I'm trying to see here. I think it was like around 60-something knots, 70-something knots. And, um, just kind of coming in nice and calm. It's very good weather. Like, I was surprised. Like, usually, uh, this area is kind of known for having a lot of storms and stuff, but we'll just take a look at this landing. Just, just take a look at it. Oh, that was great. Okay, yeah, I forgot how good I am at flying this plane. On the contrary, though, I did put the nose down a little forcefully. I didn't slam it into the ground, but I pulled the brake a little too early, and it just kind of, it just kind of, just kind of sternly just, but that, that wasn't much of a problem for me, you know, it wasn't like it was a slam or anything, it wasn't like I just slammed the nose, but, um, yeah. So we're going to, uh, make a little 180 here, the engine turns off, because I forgot to, um, I kind of forgot to put the put the throttle in, and I because I also forgot that the plane will stall out if um, if the RPMs are too low. So it's just one of those things you forget when when you're like really tired. And this was what I was here, like it was like 12 o'clock at night, and I was just kind of like I want to go to sleep, but I gotta land the plane. So yeah, I kind of forgot that uh, my throttle was all the way out, so I kind of stalled out on the runway and. Uh, but we, we, we started her back up, and we made a little 180, and we're going back over to the parking, and uh, that's where we're going to end that leg. That's that's where we're ending this leg. Um, in regards to future or anything, because this is kind of where I'm going to put my future stuff, um, I do plan on recording another leg at some point within the next few days, maybe even today, um, as I'm recording this. I just I'm kind of sick, so I, I just really don't feel 100%. Um, but our next stop is Kansai, uh, in Japan, just cause I kind of want to land on that, 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 uh, island runway, that, that, that's, just, that's really cool. Um, but yeah, after that, we're, we're cross, we're cross Pacific, and we're basically going through Asia and Europe, and then across the Atlantic, and then we're home, so. So, it doesn't sound like a lot when you put it like that, but, um, it is a lot. So, I'm sick, but I do plan on recording another leg, um. There was a lot of radio in this one, just because it was very Unicom, there's nobody around over here. So, there was not really anyone to talk to through the through the Unicom frequencies or anything else, so... It was kind of more towards myself, and, um... Nonetheless, though, I, uh, I hope you enjoyed this flight. Uh, I know I did. Really beautiful. Perfect landing. And, um... I'm really satisfied with this leg, and, uh, I hope you were too. If you liked the video, please subscribe. And until next time, this has been uh, this has been Bowel Movement Trademark. And uh, until next time, I'll see ya.